Alright, so I picked me out a nice straw hat. I got it in my bag in the back. I think I'm just about done walking around town. I just realized I said walking around town when I'm driving. That's silly. I can't believe you guys watch me. I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful. Thank you guys. I appreciate the fact that, that I'm given this opportunity to say or do anything that anybody would find interesting. Long, long time ago, I had a speech impediment. When I was a young boy, I had a stuttering problem. I had to go to a speech therapist for a while at school, and I had people help me learn how to speak correctly. Uh, I don't remember a lot about it. I do remember going to the class and reading a lot of stuff and watching videos and having to sound out things with a teacher. And the most important thing they taught me was to breathe. They were like, take time and think about what you're going to say. Take a breath and say the line and then say the next line. But because I had that speech impediment, I had a hard time growing up with, I was petrified of speaking in front of people. I think, I've heard the statistic that today in America, speaking in front of large groups of people is still one of the top fears that people have. Uh-oh, the road is closed. I got a road closure, road closure. Looks like they're getting ready to put up a new sign. So I can't go that way. Well, dang, I wish I'd have known that before I went down this pathway. Now I gotta find a new way home. Anyway, that's a small problem. Our little town is set up so that we can go multiple directions. Now watch, I'm gonna look this way as though somebody's coming. And there's not. But, anywho, always better to be safe than sorry, right? Um, what was I talking about? Oh, in America, one of the top fears that people have is to speak in front of people. And you may ask yourself, self, because that's what you call yourself, why? Why is that a big deal? Um, and I guess some of that fear is not wanting to sound like a fool, not wanting to get made fun of. Some people have unusual type voices. Some people are just easy to pick on. Some people have fragile self-esteems, which was my case at that age. But, you know, you grow up, and hopefully you grow out of that kind of stuff. You know? Boy, there's a lot of traffic suddenly. It's like 2 o'clock on a Wednesday. I don't where all these people came from on 2 o'clock on a Wednesday. They're not at school. It's not like school's out. We're in the middle of May. May 10th, as a matter of fact. And still continuing with the birthday day. 43 years, baby. whatsoever. That's what happens is you get to be an adult. You start caring less about what other people think. I don't know. What do you think? Just kidding. We have a Chili's here in town. And it was my favorite place to eat at one time. But we've had multiple times of going in the front door and waiting for someone to seat us down and no one has come up to say, Hi, welcome to Chili's. Did you guys like the chair? The table? How many? Two? Oh, okay. I just wait. And we've actually had to walk out of the place. Multiple times. And at a certain point, you just start going, Well, I don't want to go back. Why am I going there? If they're not ever going to seat me. I got high hopes for a place that doesn't want to seem to take my money. But I don't think it's Chili's per se. 
that intends for that to happen. I'm sure they don't as a company. I'm sure it has to do with the fact that this local place here is by the mall and they get a lot of people in and out of there and because of that they probably have a lot of turnover. I know they have a lot of turnover. A few times I've been in there, well let's say a few. I've actually been there multiple times but not in the last two years. I think I've been zero times in the last two years mainly because they can't get anybody to sit us. Um, but I think they have a lot of turnover. To me, that's a sign of poor management. Anytime you go in a place and you see a lot of new faces all the time, it's usually poor management. We got some local places here in town. Every time you go in, it's the same people working there. It has nothing to do with their dreams and aspirations or lack thereof. It has everything to do with who, who treats them correctly. Just my thought. Motorcycles. I don't miss my motorcycle. I know that's a random statement, but I don't miss it. I thought I would. I don't. Maybe it's because I owned one and I got to enjoy it and I got to learn that I didn't want to have one forever. sort of like uh like having a jeep you look at jeeps and you go oh that looks like fun you get to ride around with the top down and no doors man that'd be cool to have the wind on you and yeah that's all cool until you actually go through it and then you realize oh i live in south carolina and the sun is unforgiving and relentless and the heat is unescapable and pollen is all over the place and my sinuses are wrecking my system Right now, the sinuses are killing me. I got a truck with the windows up and the air conditioning on, but I can feel like a hunk of pressure right here in my head. It's almost like if I could take a drill and go and relieve some pressure, I'd feel so much better. But right now, it just feels like someone is hammering me with a hammer in my forehead over and over. I'm gonna go home and take some medicine. That'll probably help.